Well, I had to come here and set out in the on-again, off-again rain in a very questionably rain-proof jacket. I believe rain-resistant might be the word I want to use for it. But I managed to get a ticket for one of these damn things because Nintendo decided to make uh, five of them in existence. So supposedly if I walk in when the store opens in like two and a half hours with this piece of paper, then I'll be granted one. The boon of owning this fucking piece of... I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, it's after the store opened at 10. I managed to go in there and get one of these damn things. They had seven of them. I actually got the last one. Even though I had the first ticket, but the other six people came in with their tickets first. So... I guess I'll go to my house and connect this to something and then be like, oh, the original version's better. So, yeah, I don't know why I'm recording this. I guess I'll put it on YouTube and and be hip and cool. Yeah, that's about right. Yes, could I get a cheddar bow biscuit, please? Okay. Thank you. You do. Son, you gotta get your priority straight. All right. I don't know how, but we made it back to the house with a very important item. Uh, and then there's this thing, I guess. You know, you can hang out on the bed with Tiger Blanket. He's like, I'm gonna flip this shit on eBay. Roar! I'm like, Tiger Blanket, are you a scalper? He's like, this shit'll go for three hundred dollars. Son, the secret motive behind this whole video. I just realized I covered both of his eyes. He's like, it's like that movie where Tom Cruise's wife and the sex cabal. My eyes wide shut? How is this like that? Tiger blanket, you don't know shit. Oh, it's a fresh cheddar bow, too, son. My God, look at that cheesy goodness. Tiger blanket's like, I want one, too. I'm like, I got you the sausage, egg, and cheese. He's like, you know I'm vegan. What? All right, now that I've been sufficiently bojangled, I guess we can look inside this box as if we didn't know what was in it. Tiger Blank's like, I don't know what's in it. It's been laying on your face this whole time. He's like, I can't see via the sensation of touch. I'm going to awkwardly lean on my bed and try to do this with one hand. It should be very entertaining. First of all, we do admire the packaging. It looks... Vaguely like the box the original NES released in. I guess that's the point. It's got 30 games. Why include Donkey Kong? <laughs> that's, that's all we got to come up with. All I got to say about that. Consola NES. Un viaje al pasado más retro. I prefer en français. Fates un voyage. <laughs> Here's, here's my <laughs> French. Fate's un voyage inside it. I try verse late temp there, I tell you what. Donde estas, mi amigo? That's my French. Parlez-vous right there, Frances? Um, games and shit. Oh, it's got the bad version of Punch-Out, where you fight some super Caucasian guy at the end. Where my Mike Tyson at? Oh yeah, there's some kind of foosball game on here. Final Fantasy. Remember when Final Fantasy was good? I was going to say disclaimer, it was never good, but it's not true. Pac-Man. Original Mario Brothers. Why did I buy this? Okay. Let me get to say Link. Your nose touches the heel to your sword. That can't be very good. What is it about the controller? Select and start. Uh... I used to know the French word for video games, and I don't anymore. Because I took French in high school, and the teacher was like, hey, Word, you want to know in French? And I was like, I like them video games. <laughs> yes, sirree, Bob.
This is a really awkward series of videos, but in my defense, I got up very early this morning, earlier than I normally would on my day off, and stood in the rain, or sat in the rain in a chair that I brought. I can't get into the box with one hand. Hold on, we need to strike a delicate balance. I'm going to balance this on my nose. Okay, that way both hands are free. I'm trying to look at the viewfinder down my face. Look at that. Classic. I can't tell. Is it in frame? We'll never know the truth. Jesus Christ, pack that fucking thing tight, why don't you? It's tight like a tiger. No tiger blanket, I don't mean you. He's like, I'm tight, you don't know. You don't know how tight I am. Oh yeah, it has like a poster in it. Well, we gotta look at that. The fuck systems, and I bought it just for this poster. I could put it on my wall and be that super rad NES kid playing Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Warranty, yeah, this is worth a lot. It's like, oh, your thing broke? Well, we don't make them anymore, so eat a dick. <laughs> the warranty tells you all the proper ways to eat a dick. Why does everything need two hands? In the two-handed world, the one-hand man is a surf. Come on, you motherfucker. God damn the shit I put up with. <laughs> this thing's brought nothing but misery in one of my life. That's a vintage as shit. I'm going to assume this is an actual excerpt from an ad for when the NES originally launched. They were so proud of Duck Hunt and Gyromite as if they were good games. Man, the autofocus is just being a bitch. Come on, sweetheart, you can do it. People need to see pictures of these two game cartridges. Okay, fine, you don't need to see it. <laughs> I've never owned a Rob. I've never actually physically seen a Rob. Oh, it's the original Grey Zapper. Be careful, son. Fucking Columbine 2.0. I'm telling you. Okay, that shit's over with. Here's the actual little NES itself. It's wrapped in some sort of cellophane. Is that what the shit's called? Propane? I'll tell you what. I can't unbox it with one hand. I'm so fucking angry. Okay, we're gonna hold that and then my thumb. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making this video. <laughs> but then again, why are you watching? Okay, oh, it looks like the actual NES, kind of, sort of, except it's tiny in these things here. Let's compare it to a real NES. It can be a real boy. There. That's the size difference. I'm sure you've never seen anything else on the internet showing you this. This is the first exposure you've had to the damn thing. Okay. God, I'm, why am I walking around on my knees in my own floor? Don't look at me like that, Tiger Blanket. Don't you judge me. Okay. It's got ports on the back. The HDMI port's upside down. Good job, Miyamoto. And it uses a cell phone power thing. I know that technically that's not... What? I don't... Okay. There was a little icon in the corner of the camera screen that I had to touch so that it would autofocus. What a bitch. All right. Let's see how the buttons feel. They're so tiny. Is that a hair? Tiger Blanket, did you get a hair on this? He's like, you get your hairs on me all the time. How am I going to explain this to my wife? So the power button actually stays pushed in. The reset button, which I think, does it actually reset or does it do? It takes you to the menu. Right? I don't know. I've never actually interacted with one of these fucking things. You expect me to predict the future? All right, here's the control. We'll never get that out of the packaging. Unless we jump cut. Note to future editing self, please remember to actually jump cut that so it's not just blackness. This controller feels very good. Like it's nice and crisp. Like a $20 bill. So that's good. It's Mod Cleb 002, made in China. I wonder if the original was made in China. What the hell? Frankfurt and Maine, Germany. Like, it's it it came from China vis-a-vis -vis Deutschland, son. Goddamn Axis powers. I know, wait, China, what did China do in World War II? They just kind of were like, we're not, we don't want nothing to do with this. It's time, 10 phase history list. Let's compare it to, because, see, the con people complain the cord is comically short, and it is. Look at this shit. 
God damn, let's compare it to the real controller. Which means I gotta walk across my room on my knees again. It hurts. Somebody call Layla. Cause she's got me on my knees, baby. Okay. So there's the actual controller. You can see they're pretty much the same. But whoosh! My god, the controller's so long it'd wrap around the world. This fucking thing. How am I supposed to hang myself with this? My god. Let's see. Yeah, the back of the controllers are very different. As in, this one doesn't talk about Frankfurt. See, this was made in Japan. It's back when Japan had integrity. Oh, and I guess there's the power brick thing. And there's probably a USB power cable in here. I mean, I might as well show you everything in the game. Oh, yeah, it comes with an HDMI cable. Isn't that generous? And USB power. All right. Whew. So. I guess all that's left is to actually connect the shit to the Elgato and play it through my TV and play video games. But first, I'm going to take a nap because I got up very early. <laughs> I got up like two hours earlier than I would if I worked the day and then sat in the rain like an asshole waiting to get a ticket. So, I've seen some shit, right, Tiger Blanket? He's like, I've got shit all over my face. Roar! That's when he gets mad, he shakes. I can't, it's not coming across very visually. Why am I sitting in the floor of my room, shaking my bed for a YouTube video like some kind of fucking jackass? Well, <laughs> I got the thing hooked up, and uh, yeah. It's a good thing I got that HDMI uh, switcher down there <laughs> to plug the damn thing into, because uh, yeah, if I had to plug the HDMI directly into the TV, I'd need one that was 45 foot long. It's a uh, comically short cord means the system has to be this close to you. Luckily, I have an outlet down here that does USB, so it's plugged into power down there. Um, I mean, I guess one solution is you can get a ridiculously long HDMI. It's, I don't know, it's very confusing why it's like this. Uh... Rumors I've heard is that to reduce latency, which seems odd to me since the original NES controllers are, you know, five times the length, uh, or that they just used up spare Wii parts to make these things. See who the hell knows. I think the only, you know, excuse, quote unquote excuse, is that it's Nintendo. And so they felt like they didn't need to give a shit. <laughs> they could just crank out whatever. So, uh, it's telling me, it wants me to pick a language. Um, Hook up to the Elgato, as you can see on the secondary computer monitor. So I guess I'll switch to actual, you know, recorded footage. So it's not just me holding a cell phone like some kind of jackass. Fun. We got look at all these languages we got. We got the Anglais, the Francais, the Deutsch, the Espanol. The Italiano, the Netherlands, the Portuguese, Europe. I guess that means it's not South American Portuguese. Which is odd because the English doesn't denote whether it's American or British English. So I don't know whether the inclined series of steps you go up are going to be called steps or if they're going to be called apples and pears. I mean, it's very different. And then, is this Russian? It's got backwards ends in it, like a little kid's lemonade stand. So I'm assuming it's Russian. I guess we'll stick with English. I guess we'll stick with the only language I can read just this once. All right. So this is the slick interface. Uh, I like this. <laughs> I like this little catchy tune in the background. Got you some video games. So for each game, you can have four save states. So that's handy and or dandy. <laughs> I like. So balloon fight, you know, normal capitalization, but then bubble bobble is just all caps because it's the only way you could say it. It's like, hey, you want to play balloon fight or Castlevania, or do you want to play fucking bubble bobble? And whoever you're talking to, just whatever they've got in their hands, they just throw down. They're like, shit's on, son. Uh, let's talk about the selection of games. Balloon Fight's an alright game. It's like Joust. I remember renting it once as a kid. Bubble Bobble was spectacular, and I used to rent the shit out of that game. I never really played the first Castlevania a lot. It's the only one I don't own on the NES. Uh, Castlevania 2 is rough. <laughs> it's 
got bloody tears in it. That's about all that's good. Uh, still disappointed that Castlevania 3 isn't on here. I think this collection should have been Castlevania 1 and 3 because fuck two. Donkey Kong's okay. The NES port is missing a level, I think. And uh, Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. I used to rent uh, Donkey Kong Classic, which has both of those in it, which means it should have been what was on here and had room for another game. <laughs> Such a harsh critique. That's I'm a guy on the internet reviewing a piece of tech. I mean, what am I going to do? Like it? Double Dragon 2 is better than Double Dragon 1, but I don't have as much experience with it because I only own the first one. I remember playing 2. My friend Chris had it. And what I recall from it is that depending on what direction you face, A and B either make you punch or kick. It's very odd. Dr. Mario, spectacular game with spectacular music. Excite Bite was super fun when I was a kid. Uh, it's kind of boring in retrospect, but it did have a level editor. Uh, you just put them eight ramps on. Whenever we get to that, we're going to put them eight ramps. The original Final Fantasy, it ain't a bad game. It's got some flaws. I mean, it could be, it might be a gooder, but. Uh, did you? No, I'm not even going to do the parody. Did you know why it's called Final Fantasy? I don't have the energy in me. Galaga is my favorite old arcade game, and I like the NES version, even though I guess the aspect ratio is different because in the arcade it's like taller the screen <laughs> taller the screen is um i remember playing this as a kid uh, i had the nes advantage joystick controller and so it made it a lot of fun to play ghost of goblins i've not really played the nes version i'm more versed in the super nes version uh it's not an easy game gradius i've never really played uh it's a shooter, Konami. I think it used the Konami code in it to do shut. Ice Climber. I'm one of those people that only learned about it from Smash Brothers when they included the Ice Climbers. Uh, I never, I never even heard of this game on the NES as a kid. Uh, apparently, there are polar bears in hot pants, though. So you got that going for you. The Kid Icarus. My exposure to this game was watching Captain in the Game Master, the Saturday morning cartoon that had Kid Icarus as a character. And they didn't call him Pit. They called him Kid Icarus. And he, uh, the way he talked, he added Iticus to the end of random words. Uh, that was his quote-unquote endearing characteristic. Uh, apparently this game is very similar to Metroid, both in game engine and feel. Uh, but I never really played it as a kid. Never really played this as a kid either. Uh, my first big Kirby game was Superstar, and it's hard to go back after Superstar, son. That shit will ruin you, because Superstar is on point. Um, is Meta Knight at the end of this game? I guess I'll find out at some point. Uh, Mario Bros., the original. I, my main exposure to this was the mini games hidden in Mario 3 in the, when you were playing two-player, uh, and that they added it to the Mario Advance games. So I've never really played the NES version that much. Mega Man 2 is actually the only NES Mega Man I owned as a kid, uh, and I played the shit out of it, and it's amazing. And I remember borrowing Mega Man 3 from somebody and playing it quite a bit, but Mega Man 2 is just the best one. Hold on, my phone bleeped and bleeped at me. I have to see why. Somebody better not have left a comment. Oh, I think I left a comment on Super Bunny Hot's Pachinko video. Why am I checking this in the middle of my NES Classic review? Yep, yeah, it was. Somebody responded. I got four likes on my comment. <laughs> I'm important. Uh, Metroid, I remember getting this game as a kid and being super confused by it. I remember how my mind was blown when I realized you had to go left at the beginning to get the uh, Morph Ball, or as it's known, the Maru Mari. Very Japanese. Um, I know that Maru means ball or circle or something like that in Japanese. Not because of the Kobayashi Maru, but because Mar Maru is a popular Japanese name for a cat because when they lay down, they curl up in a little ball. Uh, anyway, I never beat it as a kid without the Justin Bailey code. So, hang on. God damn Ninja Gaiden. I had this game as a kid. I have ne I don't think I've gotten past like the fourth level. This game is fucking impossible, but metal is shit. I never played the NES Pac-Man. Uh, more of a Ms. Pac-Man man myself, you know, but you got it's classics. Mike Tyson's Punch Out is one of my favorite NES games, and it just hurts me that this is the angry white boy version with Mr. Dream at the end. I don't know how to handle that, but the rest of the game is the same. So what can you do? Sorry, a little gastric reflux. 
Star Tropics, uh, I like a lot. Played it a lot as a kid. Uh, this is one of the games me and when me and Tommy used to hang out in our youth, uh, we would play. It has really good music, and I like that it's like the Gaijin Nintendo game because, as far as I know, it never came out in Japan. It was like a Nintendo game made for America. That's why you play as Mike Jones, and he's a baseball pitcher, and he's like, "I'm gonna go to these islands here and bring hot dogs and freedom." And uh, anyway, uh, I've beat this one. I haven't beat the sequel though. I'm so ashamed. The only reason I can imagine Super C is on this and not original Contra is some fucked up Konami reason. Like, they were like, oh, Contra is too good for your little tiny Nintendo. You, you can have Super C. Uh, I rented this at some point as a kid, but definitely didn't play as much as Contra. Uh, the Mario's 1, 2, and 3. I mean, I can't say anything. I mean, they're just they're good games. I don't know what you want me to say about them. Uh, Mario 3, probably my favorite game on the NES. So, there you go. Take that as you will. People talk about Tecmo Bowl and, you know, Bo Jackson and Touchdown Thurman Thomas, but I never played it as a kid. And then them Zeldas. Um, I actually didn't have these games when I was, like, young, young. Uh, the first Zelda I really got into and owned was Link to the Past. Uh, by the way, the best Zelda, I might add. Um, I remember I traded in, like, 7th or 8th grade, I traded my friend Chris my copy of Maximum Carnage on the Sega Genesis and a $5 bill for his NES Zelda. And so I got the deal of the century right there. And then some point years later, I got a hold of the Adventure of Link. So, they're good games. Alright, now that we've looked at everything, uh, the reviewed the features. Actually, let's look at some of the features. Let's start a game. Alright, brothers. So she starts right up. Uh, the controller is just your regular ass controller, so you don't have like a home button on it. So if you want to bring up the menu, you have to physically hit the reset button on the little NES. And it brings up this menu. Then you can uh, save your save state. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, I was about to say there's display options. So 4x3 would be what you would be used to seeing playing NES games on because, you know, CRT televisions were 4x3. They weren't perfect squares. So this is what that looks like vis-a-vis -vis this emulation, I suppose, you know, get it done. And now let's go back. Oh! Okay, so what are our other options? Pixel perfect means it's a perfect square, I believe. So let's see how different that looks. Yeah, it's, um... Slightly different. I mean, I guess this is technically what it's supposed to look like, but it's a little bit more squished. I don't know how I feel about it, son. See, look, I ran into that Goomba because I'm not used to this strange aspect ratio. Not because I'm bad at Mario. All right, back to the menu. Let's see what we got. And then the uh, other choice is with a CRT filter, which I mean, assume puts scan lines on it. I keep loading the same save state. Okay, that's a bit harsh on this 55-inch LCD television I got hanging up on my wall. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I don't think I can. Handle that. I mean, I'm I, I'm all about vintage, but shit. All right. So we'll stick with you. Four by three. What are our other options? Demo. I guess if you leave it running long enough. Auto shutdown. You always turn that shit on. Screen burn in reduction. Is that if like the screen goes dark after a while? I guess. Hmm. And of course, we've already changed the language. Legal. Which games have legal? I guess it's just copyright dates. Hmm. So there you go. Open source. Okay. This this doesn't seem very interesting. I don't know why I'm showing it to y'all. Oh, there. Man. Oh, you can't look at the manuals. You have to scan them with your smartphone. What the fuck? God damn it, Nintendo. So fucking lazy. So. Okay, this is why I keep fucking up. There we go. So yeah, 4x3 without artificial scan lines uh, seems to be my preferred way to play this uh, rig right here. But, uh... Man, I'm, play through, I'm in trance, son. It's Super Mario Brothers. They're the Mario Brothers and Plumbing's their game. They're not like the others who get all the fame. Because if your sink's in trouble, you can call them on a double. The faster than the others, you'll be hooked on them, brother. Ugh. I did that in a recent shelf quest. I can't talk about the Mario Brothers without singing about them. I'm sorry. I apologize for this. 
I accidentally got six fireworks. That's it. This is a now a professional playthrough. And by that I mean, uh, yeah. Back to the menu. So, uh, all I can really think to do now that I've got a hold of this thing, there's 30 games on it, and it looks like I'm going to have to play every one of them. So, I guess that means I'm going to have to put up 30 videos. I hope y'all are okay with that. I know it's a lot of content for the Tenfei channel, but... And some of these games, you know, have already been played on the Tenfei channel, but, you know, if Dark Souls and its sequels are anything to be indicated, I'm not above replaying stuff for the Tenfei channel. So the Tenfei channel, there's four games that have been played on it over and over. So, yeah, well, uh, I'm just going to start with Balloon Fight and fucking tank my way down to Zelda 2. I probably won't play completely through every game. I mean, I don't see a reason to do another full playthrough of Final Fantasy, for example. And some of these games, like Ninja Gaiden, I probably can't beat. But uh, we'll just, I'll just play video games. And you go there, you know. Maybe sometimes I just like to play video games for fun. I know it's it's a harsh thing to, to, to say in this day and age of YouTube. Like, play, play video games for myself, son. If you don't... You can't love video games for yourself, then how are you going to love video games for others? 